Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today I'm going to be attempting to repair uh, one of the cracks in my windscreen. It's only a small tiny little crack uh, that's in there and it's, it's from stone chips. Now I went on eBay and found this product. This is the windshield repair kit. I think I've got two of these for about £5. I'll put a link in the uh, description for you as well so you can have a look and see. Well. We'll see if it works first. If it works, then we'll. Um, if it works, then what we do is I'll put the link up on the description. But we'll see what it looks like afterwards. Now I won't lie, this car has got lots and lots of windscreen uh, chips in it. So I'm only going to attempt to fix one. I'm going to find the biggest one on there and just try and see what this uh, what this stuff does. It, the windshield needs replacing anyway, but for for a fiver. We'll give it a crack and see how it goes. So I got the idea from Chris Fix. I saw one of his videos. He bought one of the kits. I don't think it's I don't think it's the same one as what I've got, but he bought one of these kits and it did a pretty good job on the windscreen. So I thought, you know what, I'll give that a try, see if it works. Uh, but upon inspection, I've actually noticed that there's plenty more chips on there that I can't be bothered to do this a million times. So you can see the car is absolutely peppered in stone chips everywhere all these little ones here these ones here and the, this is the driver's side so this is the ones that are getting in my view so the only one that i found in driver's view is going to be this one here so this one's in my way it doesn't really impede my driving uh, but it'd be nice if we can get that one fixed i don't know how i'm going to film this because this is really awkward so this is the kit we'll give it an open and see what we get So this is what you put on the windscreen to inject the solution into using this. I think that goes onto there like that. And that goes into your windscreen, and then you inject all your liquid into it. This is the resin that you get. Tiny little bottle of that. I might be able to do a couple of chips actually. Get a razor blade. And then these are little sheets that you use for afterwards to let it dry. So this is the chip that we're going to attempt to fix. It's only tiny, not really much, not really much on there. It's only, a, it's only a small chip, but we're going to clean this out and see if we can uh, actually get this stuff working. So to clean out the chip, all I used was this nail. I used the end, I used the, the tip of the nail there just to clean out all the bits and pieces out of the glass. The next time I'm just going to give it a little clean out with some IPA as well, just to get rid of any crust out of the actual chip. So all I need to do is to put the, uh, the attachment on there. And this is going to hold the, um, the injector to the car. Like so, next we need to peel off the backing plate. Peel that bit off. And then basically we put the uh, plastic injector in there as well. Just mount that to the adhesive. Like that. Right, now the exciting bit. So you get your resin, and then we put some drops of resin into the uh, injector into the mould. Right, so next we get the plunger. Put that in, making sure it gets a good seal. So now we've done this, we need to pull the plunger up to its top position. Now, now you let that set for 10 minutes. Okay, so that's been about 10 minutes I reckon now. So what it's just to do is remove the plunger. And then push down on it. Put it back in. Push down and leave for another 20 minutes. See now I push it down to sort of the other notch here. So as you push down, you're pushing all the liquid into here. I have got another camera filming in there, so hopefully that picks it up. Um, but yeah, you just push it down to here, then all the, the vacuum down here pushes all the liquid into the crack and hopefully, hopefully fixes it. Oh, and by the way, I have noticed actually when I was in the car that over here on the passenger side, there's actually a proper naughty little chip. So I'm gonna see if I've got uh, time to do that one as well. Right, so it's been 20 minutes, and it says pull out the plunger, like so, and then remove the sticky stuff. Right, so. so all we should have to do now, it says, 
just put some more of the resin into the into the crack at the top. Like so. And then use the uh, plastic sheet to fit in. And I can actually already see it has actually it seems to have worked. I'll show you what it looks like now. So what I've done there is put some more resin into the crack, and the crack was around about well the chips are around about here somewhere and it looks like it's actually filled it in yeah it looks like it's actually worked I think the crack was around this sort of area here so it says to let this sit for 15 minutes uh, I'm going to go and do the crack on the other side over here I don't know if you can actually see it so this is the other crack that I found on the windscreen and inside it's pretty you can actually see like the line so this will be a better crack for me to um, to try the stuff on. That's another one right there as well. I've actually got enough liquid to do most of these cracks. So I'm actually going to try it on this one as well. So that small one seems to have worked all right. So we'll try it on there. Okay, so after half hour, I've now done the other chip, and as you can see here, just there is the old chip. Well, that chip was there next to a chip that was here, and this is one I've actually filled in with the, uh, with the gear. And if I'm honest, it looks pretty decent. I think it was around about where them scratches were there. So I'm hoping that's now filled in. It does look good compared to this one. So that's the old, that's one of the scratches that was a, a bit smaller, the one that was just here. So that's roughly where the uh, chip was. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to push the car outside, uh, let the sun get to it for about an hour to dry fully, scrape it all off and then uh, give you my final verdict. Right, so it's been in the sun now for about an hour. So it's, all this is to do is remove the sticky uh, film and then scrape off all the uh, resin as well. Okay, so here's the aftershots. Now you've got one here, which is a stone chip, and this is the one that I've done. Now I think, obviously it doesn't look 100% perfect. It's really hard to zoom in, but it doesn't look 100% perfect. No, because it's, you know, it's still there, but compared to all the other ones around it, it is pretty, pretty decent. So over on the other side, that there, this one, is not been completed. And then this is the one that I did afterwards. So again, it's not, you know, it's not brilliant, but it looks a hell of a lot better than what it did and obviously it offers some sort of protection. Okay, so after using the product and fixing the stone chips in the glass, for four pound, I think it's about four pound a pack. I'll, I'll have a look on eBay and see what they are, but I'm, I think it's about four pound per pack. 
So for four pound, you can do five stone chips, I reckon. Um, Time-wise, though, it took me, well, it takes 10 minutes to, for the first bit to set, 20 minutes for the next bit to set, and then you need to wait an hour for it to at least dry in the sun. So you could probably do five stone chips in around about two hours once you total everything in. So I think this product will benefit if you have one big stone chip in the screen. So yeah, for the car, for you know, one big stone chip, you know, that's got like sort of spread quite a bit, I think this product would be really, really good to sort of fill it in and sort of hide it from view. But if like me, you've got hundreds of stone chips on the window, there's no point in, you'll be there for all day trying to put this product on all the little bits and pieces. So what I do is I'll put a link in the description of the product that I actually use. There's loads out there, loads of different manufacturers. There's Rain-X and all sorts of Chinese ones. To be honest, I've only used this one and it seems good enough, but there probably is better ones out there, but obviously you're gonna pay a little bit more money for them. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna get the review of this done. I've said this about 20 times and I'll never get it done. But I'm gonna finish off the review of this car and actually get that posted to the channel. And I've actually got about eight cars lined up now for uh, reviews. So if you like the video, give us a little thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.